What up, y'all? It's Mel doing another eating check on the solo. Um, tonight, I have ribeye steak with mushroom and onion gravy and mashed potatoes. Hmm. Drinking on that good old age too old. How y'all out there doing? MK Saints visitors, passing throughs. Um, how y'all what the treating y'all? Well, let me do this, my grace, uh, so I can start eating and we we gonna chit chat a little more. God is good. God is great. Thanks for the I'm about to receive this old name and surprise him. So how y'all doing? Y'all were the treating y'all fine. Everybody was afraid of the two hurricanes hitting the Gulf Coast at once. And both of them died in New Orleans. Even though uh, Lauren has not hit yet. The earlier one did. Let's see. That's an onion gravy. It's creamy. It's sweet. Pat myself on the back on this one. Mm. I think I should have cooked. Stick a little longer, John. Cause uh, this fake steak was uh, it had real nice marbling in it, and some of it was thick. Schooling ain't what it's cracked up to be. Especially when your kid's not old enough to do the stuff themselves. Like. Yesterday they didn't wake me up with the homeschooling. This morning was a different story. I ain't no kindergarten. It has gotten progressive since I was in kindergarten. Like, Remember having to count backwards twenty to zero in kindergarten. Not when I was going to school. Or even when Curtis was in kindergarten.
I do Walmart grocery delivery. I do want to tell Walmart some things, but you didn't really read the comments. Like, if, even though I'm complaining, I make it sound syrupy sweet. Will it be red? Because I wonder if Walmart knew they're giving me bonuses. Like I clearly had no substitutions. They still substituted. In a way, it's a good thing. But in a way, it's a bad thing. Now, I'm going to tell you why the pros and cons of the substitution switch. Depending on what you order, and they substitute it. Sometimes it's a better deal, but sometimes it's not what you want at all. Like, a couple of months back, I ordered Swiss chocolate milk. <clears throat> if you know anything about Swiss, it's like almond milk, tofu milk. It's not cow's milk. So, you know, I always switch to the milk. Love it. So, when you suck me my oil, it was chocolate milk, but it was literally milk. Was that what it comes to was? No. No. I think it was just regular chocolate milk. Cow's milk. And they substituted it with a better milk. That's a positive. But I have had substitutions like I order meat that had bones in it, like the, the country steaks, country style ribs. I like the cuts with the bones in it. Man, these mugs suck me the, the big slices with no bone in it and you know that's just not what I wanted. Or light bulbs. I order regular light bulbs. They be like, oh, we didn't have that. We didn't do this. And uh, sometimes it don't even be the same wattage. Oh, uh, I ordered and a acetaminophen for Alonzo. And they end up sending them Benadryl. <laughs> like, are y'all serious? But today I ordered bananas. Talking about we out of stock. Like how you out of stock on bananas? 
and they sent me a jicama. I have no idea what to do with that jicama. I may have to look it up. Excuse me. But I know back in my uh, cashier days, um, and I see women buy them, I be like, what you do with that? How you cook that? They be like, we boil it like potatoes. I don't see it though. Because jicama is light and it has a fruity taste, like an apple. So now I have to look up how, uh, ways to use a jicama. But thanks for that, Walmart. Excuse me. I watched, uh, it's an old movie, but it's, uh, a girl called Grace, or uh, named Grace, something like that, with, uh, Fancy, uh, Garcelle, Bovage, y'all know who I'm talking about. Honestly, about her character is wow. The whole movie. thing to me. Like I know y'all actors and y'all just doing roles. But sometimes I really be like, wow. Simone, Lil Romeo, and that's about the only people I recognized. Dwayne knew to somebody else. I was like, I don't know who that is, boy. And uh, wasn't all that good of a movie to me. Next, I watched this movie called The End Laws. That was just crazy. Like, that movie really made no sense at all. Like, this woman had a beef with a whole nation of people. Because she bought a pair of no good shoes from one man. I was like, wow. That's why I don't like gravy on my steak. I like to see what I'm cutting.
or like I know somewhere in the steak there's a big thing of fat. finish teaching him. He'll be back. No. I don't understand children. Like You know, I'm just not used to being around little kids like that no more. And uh, basically, he pulled one of my cousin moves. Like if she couldn't get away over at our house, she'd be like, I'm ready to go home. He did that. But when it got time for him to go home, he didn't want to go home. Like, don't don't be walking around here with that crap. And he thinks he's just grown now. Because when he get mad at something, he'll just grab Keisha phone. Yeah, mama, come get me. But when she come to get him, it's a problem. I was just getting into some good sleep and he starts crying. No, don't make me go. You made yourself go. You need your own woman. I just sleep in my office when he come. Cause if y'all Pay attention, I, I, I don't get rushed like that. Didn't I have it interrupted? Nah. I wish Keisha should come on the hill. Like, it's one thing. When you want to do it and choose to do it. But it's a whole nother thing when you got to do it. You know what I mean? It's, uh, it's, they say it's getting close to healing and whatnot. But I don't believe that. Because it just started bleeding.
I'm done with that. And I need it because my steak is real. Because what I'm going to do is, I got leftover gravy. I'm going to slice it up and throw it in there and probably make a sandwich. No good for our sandwich. I'm saying that, but I don't really have no bread. You know, like sliced bread, rib sandwich. They don't sound right. Excuse me. I guess I'm done because I'm finished. I keep um, asking, what are y'all watching on Netflix? I cannot possibly be the only one watching Netflix and with opinions of movies. That's like something called Lost Husband or something like that. And they keep suggesting I watch that. But I'm not into the Lifetime and Hallmark type movies. You know? Give me some killer shit. Give me some action shit. Give me some, uh... This bitch took my husband and now I'm a killing boat shit. You know? Don't give me no, oh, her husband left her. Now she has to move on and raise her kids alone. And she's going to find a new love. I don't want no stuff like that. You know, some movies like The Lovebirds, that was, I think it's The Lovebirds. That was funny. It wasn't no Hallmark type movie. But other stuff, I'd be like, like, you keeping track of what I watch. I know you are. You, you giving me movies that you want me to watch. So why would you even suggest this movie to me? Like, you know, I watch documentaries and, uh, like I said, action and stuff like that. Or, uh, uh, what they call them mugs? Reality stuff. Why well, suggest that movie? Then I had friends who who've watched it and they're like, mm, it wasn't what I thought it would be. And these were stone bone lifetime movie people back in the day. You know, when she was getting her her butt handed to her and then after a while she wasn't good enough and he started in on the children type stuff. Excuse me. Man. I was watching one of them shows, and the man killed his entire family, even the dogs. Like, for real, what the dogs had to do with that shit? He said he was starting over, and he wasn't going to have nothing to bind him. <laughs> that was crazy. I think that was an unsolved mistress. You know, they came back. Oh, well, if you didn't, now you know. Well, I'm about to go. Y'all be blessed. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your family. Protect each other. Love on each other. Uh, Till next time, uh, peace, love, and hair grease. Stay safe. Do your mask. Do your social distancing. And uh, take care. Good night.